Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome students uh, to the course of NPTEL Visual Communication Design for Digital Media. So in the previous class we have also uh, we have started discussing the principles of design and today's class we will continue that and uh, in the previous class we have discussed unity, emphasis, uh, we have discussed there the five principles which, which are unity, emphasis, uh, balance, uh, continuity and um, uh, movement. So uh, today we will start with balance. Balance is one of the principle, uh, principles that may come more uh, intuitively to the uh, people because it is uh, we all uh, physically uh, practice that. So balance is uh, a stability of equilibrium which creates uh, by distribution of uh, which can be created by the distribution of various uh, elements of uh, design. So elements of design we have in one hand. So uh, by assembling with uh, with the permutation and combination of that, we can create balance uh, in a visual composition. So elements of principles like uh, uh, shape, size, texture, and um, uh, line color, these can be uh, created to uh, uh, for uh, balancing a composition and each by, uh, by vary, uh, varying different elements we can also create a heavy uh, or light composition. So for example, if we uh, consider balance in a physical scenario, so in this photograph this is explained uh, like there is a fulcrum and one side there can be heavier uh, uh, elements and other side there can be uh, light elements, but if the heavier elements are pushed near the fulcrum and the lighter elements are pushed away from the fulcrum, it's, the balance can also be achieved. So similarly, by uh, composing uh, um, by uh, the permutation and combination of different sh size, shape, value, uh, color, these are the uh, values are attribute of color uh, only, and texture, we can create we can achieve balance though it might not be we are uh, putting the same thing on both the sides of the fulcrum we can uh, put different uh, things on the both the side of the fulcrum or here in the visual uh, uh, composition the central axis acts as a fulcrum we can put different things on the other uh, right hand side a uh, different thing on the left hand side but still we can create uh, a balance in the composition so here is an example so here there is a heavier image which has a higher contrast but there uh, we can see a lot of intricacies and the movement is from this side to that side. So this actually creates a balance from um, this side and more intricate images on the other side. So here there is a darker uh, part and here there is a lighter part but both are balancing each other. And each and every uh, by uh, varying different uh, varying shape, color, texture, uh, we can have different ki uh, kind of visual weight. For example, in the first image, there is the same shape which is square, a bigger red square, a smaller red square. So here, the bigger red square definitely has a larger visual, uh, uh, heavier visual weight. And on the uh, on the other uh, other hand, the small weight uh, square has less visual weight. So if we simply um, take a composition and one side we put a red bigger red square and another side we put a small red square, definitely this side will be uh, the side where we are putting the bigger red square will be definitely heavy. Similarly, when black uh, have higher weight than white, so actually uh, the higher the value is, it has lower visual weight. Uh, so all we know, we, uh, if we add white in a particular color, it has higher value and we add uh, black in a color, it has lower value. So higher the value, lower the visual weight. So in uh, composition, one side if we uh, just put black, other side uh, if we just put white, the white side will be uh, of lighter visual weight. Even for the uh, pattern and tex texture, uh, yes, uh, here we can see 
uh, one side we don't have any pattern on texture and other side we have lot of pattern and texture so in uh, in the, in a composition if in uh, one side we put uh, less pattern uh, or texture in the other side we put more uh, heavier pattern and texture complex pattern and texture the side uh, carrying the complex pattern and texture will be visually heavy similarly dull tones and light tones there is a visual uh, weight variance the dull tones has less weight and the bright tones has more weight so if you see in this diagram we have two dull tones on the both the both the side of a bright red tone so here the red tones definitely comes out and uh, uh, acts as a focal point and also has a heavy uh, visual weight and here we um, see similar tones similar uh, brightness um, and different colors so uh, as we know red is warm color uh, yellow is also warm color but not as warm as red and blue is a cool co a color so uh, here the cool color has less visual weight and warm color has more visual weight so here in this uh, diagram red is most heavy then it's yellow then blue so in this uh, painting by hokushai uh, it's a series of uh, 36 views of mount fuji, uh, fuji where great wave is also uh, included in in, uh, in this series so in this painting what we can see the balance is actually achieved in this uh, composition by different uh, the, by permutation combination of different elements so here on the right hand side this side we see a red color patch which uh, as we already know that red is a heavier color so it has higher uh, visual weight than this because this is a blue but he increased the visual weight of blue by incorporating texture so these clouds actually acts as a texture also in this uh, uh, field that green green is also a cooler color there are texture added on uh, green and here the texture added on blue so blue al also has a higher visual weight to balance the red patch on the right uh, right hand side so by this means uh, uh, here the tex uh, texture is heavy and in this side the color is heavy so this uh, this way the balance is achieved in the complete composition so there can be different kind of balance as we all uh, uh, already started to understand the, it can be symmetric balance it can be asymmetric balance so symmetric balance is uh, easy to understand and where, uh, where there are either bilateral symmetry or radial symmetry bilateral symmetry is uh, like uh, there will be a central axis whatever you put on the other side the the, uh, the opposite side will be a mirror image of the same composition or a similar um, uh, similar uh, mirror image of the composition for example here in this logo we can see the logo is absolutely bilaterally symmetrical on this side we have uh, the composition which is just mirrored in the other side so uh, in uh, many logo design we can see this thing uh, which adds uh, gravity this bilateral symmetry adds gravity and uh, it's more associated to the classical composition so in classical composition uh, even in the classical architecture we see there are emphasis of having bilateral symmetrical building and bilateral emblems uh, like that in the other way here uh, we can see there is an asymmetric balance achieved but how the as uh, asymmetric balance achieved is like the this chair is balanced by a heavy uh, heavy uh, visual um, uh, typography which has a heavy visual weight because this is just a T but the T is not a very simple uh, simple design there are a lot of curves a lot of uh, different shapes are assembled within the uh, typography and if even if you see the uh, the curves and the lines which also balances the curves and lines which is present in the this corner of uh, uh, present in the uh, chair so this is an example of a asymmetric balance radial balance as uh, it uh, the ter uh, terminology uh, connotes so that there will be a focal point and from that every elements will balance uh, every element um, must will radiate from this focal point and it will balance radially so if you take in um, uh, symmetric axial balance there will be only one axis by which there will be a mirror image but here if you take any axis passing through the center the, uh, the image will be balanced another uh, interesting uh, uh, um, uh, pattern in the balance is uh, crystallographic balance 
crystallographic balance by looking at the uh, uh, image we can confuse this with texture or pattern which we discussed in elements of principle, but there is a slight difference between crystallographic balance uh, where the balance is achieved by repeating the same element throughout the uh, composition. The difference between this is we can recognize in the crystallographic balance the each and every element can be recognizable and we can read each and every element. So, here we can uh, see there are um, a lot of cubes uh, which has a 3D effect and we read each and every uh, element individually and in uh, pattern we actually read the image holistically. So, in pattern it is uh, actually a big picture uh, view. So, we, we do not recognize, we do not see the uh, smaller elements first, we recognize the big picture pattern first and uh, in crystallographic balance we actually look at the image and then perceive there is a balance in the composition. So, here the uh, part to whole uh, perception is in, um, here and but, uh, but in the um, uh, texture the whole to part perception is, um, uh, is, is valid. The next uh, principle of design is rhythm. Rhythm is repeating the same or similar elements of design uh, repetitively to create a rhythm or um, rhyme in the composition. So, there will be a harmony, there will be a, 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 the a rhythm also uh, creates a unity in the composition. And in rhythm, we have uh, alternating rhythm and uh, progressive rhythm. So, in alternative rhythm there will be uh, the same objects will be repeated or two, three different objects will be repeated in a proper progr uh, pr uh, proper um, number after. Uh, so, we uh, uh, suppose we have three different objects. So, first, second, third and again the first comes then second and third. So, there is a rhythm in the composition, but in the uh, progressive com uh, rhythm the first object, so uh, in the example you can see the first object is augmented in the second and in the uh, second second layer and again uh, enlarged and again enlarged. So, it can be uh, different, uh, the, uh, it, it, uh, the progression can be uh, dif uh, achieved in terms of shape, uh, in terms of uh, size. So, uh, one particular shape is increased in the next uh, repetition again increased in the next uh, repetition and again increased in the next, uh, next repetition. So, what we can see in this installation also it can be achieved by color. So, in uh, we have one color then again it uh, uh, we can add value to it by adding white then again we can add uh, more value to it by uh, adding again white and we can also decrease the value by um, adding uh, black into the color uh, in this way also it can uh, create a uh, progressive rhythm uh, and also it can uh, similar it can be achieved through uh, um, texture it can be achieved through a different um, line quality line can be uh, thicker uh, gradually texture can be um, denser gradually so that um, that uh, that also uh, all these uh, things goes into progressive rhythm so after balance and uh, rhythm we completed all the five principles of design and now in the next uh, lectures we will see how these uh, elements by, by these elements and uh, following these principles how we can achieve uh, good composition and meaningful communicative composition in uh, digital media platform. Thank you.